the Hoyas. Hoya Paranoia. Knock off Denver in that championship game in the Big East. They had 13 wins, a program record in 2019. Started at 7-1 before dropping their first two games in Big East play to Marquette and Denver, but didn't lose another Big East game the rest of the way. They got the two seed in the Big East tournament. Yeah, nice finish to the regular season. Translated to the regular season. They beat three seed uh, postseason. They beat three seed Providence in the semifinals behind Lucas Wittenberg, school record eight assists. Then you see there, Denver 12-9 to win their second straight Big East championship. They fall to Yale in the NCAA tournament in a high scoring 1916 affair. Kevin Warren entering his eighth season at the helm. These his best back to back stretch since arriving on campus. We bring in coach now and coach uh, yes, I'm going to start by asking how do you sort of take that next step obviously you've had a good string a couple years here with those back to back championships what do you do now to sort of elevate the program even more. Oh, great question. Uh, I guess we'll figure that out when we start practice today but I think um, continue to learn uh, on what we need to do to be successful. Um, we've had a lot of great leadership the last two years, and it's it's this year's group. Uh, it's their opportunity as seniors and certainly as a team to figure out what we do best, what we do well, uh, what we'll do different to make us successful. Um, and I guess that's part of the preseason. Um, but at the same time, he, he, this team needs to have its own identity, and uh, we'll figure out what that is over the next couple of weeks before we get into our first scrimmage. And, and hopefully we'll just take those lessons that we had uh, for the past two years and, and, and maybe adjust them a little bit, but uh, kind of stay to the stay to the core things that made us successful and then we'll go from there yeah and you've had some good uh, classes obviously over the course of your career there um, but you lose you know guys like Bucaro and Wittenberg uh, who were, were so impactful for you especially the legacy they left you thinking about how important that is moving forward in your program to have guys like that sort of leaving it better than they found it especially those last two seasons yeah, no question about it I think it's a uh, a goal for every senior class now to go hey we want to do we have a you know, have more success in whatever that may be um, than the prior class. Now it now it's uh, the onus is on them to continue what we would like to do as a program. Certainly part of the vision I had when I came here way back when. Um, and and I think that's a good thing. And then the guys have to be up for the challenge um, and figure out what this team does well um, in order for us to get where we want to get to. Yeah, you mentioned when you started, I think it was uh, now you're entering your eighth season. From then to now, I guess, you mentioned the vision. How, has that changed at all? How has that sort of come to fruition now that you're almost a decade in? Yeah, it's uh, it's actually amazing. It feels like 80 years, not just eight. <laughs> but uh, um, at the same time, you know, you, you want to be part of the conversation. You you want to you want to have sustained success, and I know that's that's tough to have, especially in Division One lacrosse. And our, our landscape has changed so much in the past couple of years. Um, but you you have to do things a certain way, and I think we found um, that the the type of guys that uh, come here understand what needs to be done, um, and we're starting to get a, um, a continuum of those types of guys that have those traits that are going to allow us hopefully. To have success or at least put us in position to um, game in and game out. Uh, Jake Caraway returns for you guys. I think 88 points last year. Um, what does what have you seen from him now here in the fall and now as you get practice started now here in the spring that you want to see from him to sort of elevate his game even more? Well yeah I mean I, I think it's it's no secret that our team is going to you know revolve around Jake Caraway but it's not going to be so much Jake. Jake's a great leader. Jake's our hardest worker. Um, Jake plays with a lot of passion. Um, there'll be times we have to t tell Jake to, to relax a little bit, but uh, he's got a motor that's that, that's contagious, um, and he cares, you know. And uh, it's every it's there's no secret that that Jake's the guy coming back. But I think it's going to be so important to make sure the guys around him elevate um, their games um, because of the, the guys that we lost. But that happens with every program. But when you have a, a central figurehead, so to speak, like Jake. It's can the guys around him um, elevate their game um, and, and make our offense or make our team successful. What kind of vibe did you get from the team in the fall? What was sort of the mood, I guess, uh, you know, sort of motivating you guys for here for the spring? Well, it, it's kind of interesting because, um, you know, our sophomore class knows nothing except uh, Big East championships, mm -hmm. you know, and then the senior class, um, when they first got here, maybe they the program wasn't where they wanted it to be. Um, and now they've learned, um, hey, this is what needs to be done. The the there was a quiet confidence in the fall. Um, I think that's uh, the go. Hey, 
We know it needs to be done. We've seen two ways um, or two different avenues, so to speak, to say, hey, we've had success this way or that way. Um, what is this group going to do? And I think it's a learning uh, process uh, for every team that goes through uh, a season is, is, is figuring out how will we lead as seniors? How will we lead as upperclassmen? Um, and, and you got to take the good and bad that you've learned and, uh, and try and make it a positive to, to take that next step um, to, to have opportunities to have success. You think about um, people that have been there, and then also the newcomers. that uh, We had Graham Bundy on as part of the U19 team uh, this past weekend in the spring premiere. I think he scored a goal, too. Um, a, right. a guy like that who's you know, on the, the Team USA stage, too, what impact do you think it could have for that team, and how does that help your team? too uh, you know it, it's just for him he can bring some lessons or some things that he learned from um, a different coaching staff or the way they do things um, he's a prideful kid so uh, and he's competitive as all heck so uh, he had no problem speaking up in the fall and, and he's a guy we're gonna certainly look forward to uh, helping us over the next uh, next next couple years here um, but but learning from those experiences and just bring him here and, and find him which piece fits uh, the puzzle, so to speak, is, is very important. And he's from Missouri, too. You see that a little bit on that U19 team, guys from a lot of different places in the country, but kind of interesting for you guys, too, to you know recruit a guy from the Missouri that talented, right? Yeah, and I think for us, we're, we're a national school, and uh, I think we, we we try and find the best players. But we try to find the best players, but find the best fits. And I think when you look at the intangibles that Graham has, um, or any of our guys have, there seems to be a, a consistency uh, throughout those traits. And I think that's one of the reasons, again, why we've had some success, because uh, we had a lot, lot of like-minded guys uh, in the locker room, uh, holding each other accountable on the field, doing all the things we need to do. Um, and I, I think that's why we're, we're kind of where we are. Like you said, Coach, it's day one for you guys of practice and everything like that. You ready to go? I am. I just got to make sure my winter coat is ready because uh, I don't like the cold. Um, as uh, as I've heard, one, I've, I've been cold once in my life, and uh, I think it was way back when, so I know what to do. Wow, experience. I like that. <laughs> it makes a lot of sense, Coach. Appreciate the time. Uh, good luck this season, all right? Thanks so much. Appreciate what you guys do for the game.